In this Q&A video, we're going to answer the question, what are the different grades of fire alarm system? Now, just before we explain the answer to this question, please be aware that this video is one of a series that we've made on the subject of fire alarms. They can be viewed individually, or you can click the link in the description below to view them as part of a free online training package to help you with your CPD and receive a certificate to prove that you've completed the course. Now, this subject of fire alarm grades can get a little confusing because as well as grades of alarm, there's also categories of alarm. So what's the difference? Well, fire alarms should conform to the standards in the DS5839 series and for fire alarms in dwellings. It's particularly part six. Guidance on the information in this document can be found in the practical guide to grade D fire alarm systems available on docstore.co.uk and the electrician's guide to fire detection and fire alarm systems published by the IET. We'll be referring to both in this video. The grade of system defines the type of system installed and the power supply feeding it. Some fire detection systems would simply be overkill for domestic situations and detection equipment designed for a domestic setting would not provide sufficient coverage and information when a fire broke out in a large complex building with lots of different rooms. The category of system, rather than referring to the type of equipment used, relates to whether the system is being used to protect the property or the lives of those using the property. Within the property or life categories, there's other divisions to explain the extent of coverage the systems provide. So let's dive into the grades a little further. Bear in mind this is an explanation of the type of system installed and the power supply to it. The grades are defined by the letters A through F, although there's a couple of letters missing that used to define systems that have now been removed. The technical description of a grade A system is a fire detection and fire alarm system which incorporates control and indicating equipment conforming to BSEN 54-2 and power supply equipment conforming to BSEN 54-4 and which is designed and installed in accordance with all the recommendations of sections 1 to 4 inclusive of BS 5839-1 of 2017. Now you may notice there's a reference there to part 1 of BS 5839 which is not the part that refers to dwellings. So why is that in there? Well, a grade A system is a type that would have a central panel that all the detectors and alarms are connected to that processes far more information than the typical system found in a house, even to the point where they can pinpoint the exact detector that has been triggered. However, part 6 of BS5839, which we're considering here, relates to dwellings. So in the context of part 6, this type of system could be found in a block of flats with common areas like corridors and stairwells. If so, then the alarm must be installed in accordance with the sections outlined in part 1 of BS5839, apart from a few clauses that should be replaced with information from part 6. These clauses are 16, 18, 20, 25.4e and 27 from part 1 that get replaced with 13, 14, 18, 15.2c and 21 respectively. The power supply to a grade A alarm should only feed the fire alarm and nothing else, and the system should have a backup that can keep the alarm operable for at least 72 hours, after which sufficient capacity should remain to supply the maximum alarm load for at least 15 minutes. In other words, if a detector was triggered at the very end of 72 hours of running on the battery backup after the mains power failed, the panel should be able to sound all the alarms connected to the system for at least 15 minutes. It's also recommended that this grade of system has no RCD protecting the supply cable unless it's necessary for electrical safety. There is no longer a grade B type alarm as this was removed by the 2019 edition of BS5839-6. A grade C alarm is defined as a system of fire detectors and alarm sounders which may be combined in the form of smoke alarms connected to a common power supply comprising the normal mains and a standby supply with central control equipment. And the power supply for this system is the same, as for grade A, but can be a common power supply with intruder alarm, comprising the normal mains and the standby supply and reduced alarm time of 4, not 15 minutes. So the main differences between grades A and C is that the grade C can have a combination of detector and sounder in the same device, and the panel may also incorporate an intruder alarm system as well. Next up is the grade D system, and this one gets a little different again, as it is the first category to be split into two parts. There is a D1 system and a D2 system. The difference is subtle, but really important. A D1 system is defined as a system of one or more mains powered detectors, each with a tamper-proof standby supply consisting of a battery or batteries. So now we're in the realm of a typical domestic fire alarm system. The D2 system is similar, but there is a key difference. See if you can spot it in the definition. 
a system of one or more mains power detectors, each with an integral standby supply consisting of a user replaceable battery or batteries. So the key difference between the two grade D systems is that while both are supplied by a permanent main supply and feature battery backup in each individual combined detector and sounder, a D1 system has a tamper-proof battery, usually secondary in nature, which just means rechargeable. This battery is permanently fixed into the alarm, so this can't be accessed or swapped over by the person living in the property. Whereas a D2 system has a replaceable battery that can be accessed by a homeowner and replaced when necessary. Grade E went the same way of grade B and was deleted in the 2019 update of BS5839-6 which brings us to grade F. This grade again splits into two subsets, F1 and F2, which have similar characteristics to D1 and D2, but with the F1 system being a system of one or more battery powered detectors powered by a tamper-proof primary battery or batteries, and the F2 being a system of one or more battery powered detectors powered by a user replaceable primary battery or batteries. So very similar to D1 and D2, as an F1 system will include tamper-proof batteries like a D1, and the F2 has user-replaceable ones like the D2. The one key difference between grades D and F being that the F grades are only powered by batteries with no mains power going to them whatsoever. The use of this type of system is acceptable in certain places, but they're pretty limited. So there we go, those are the different grades of fire alarm. To find out what the different categories of fire alarm are, check out this video right here, or even better, click the link in the description below to watch it as part of our free training package to help you with your CPD and receive a certificate as well. All that remains in this video is to say, thank you very much for watching.